Do you want to bring a GIF, a GIF? Ah, oh, geez, how do you say it? Into your Power BI report? Well, I've got some awesome ways that you can bring that in, both as a button, you can also bring it in as your report background. You ready? I am. All right, so right now I'm looking at a Power BI report, basic report, easy report, nothing crazy going on right here. What if I make this a little bit better? In honor of our Learn With The Nerds events is I brought in some nerd GIFs here. On the GIF, what I'm gonna do is find my save image as. I wanna go ahead, save this image, and bring it in to the report. I'll do that in a moment, but first we'll save. You wanna be careful and notice the type of save that it's recurring here. What I'm looking for is that GIF image. That is the one that's gonna play back, look really good, and I can integrate seamlessly into the report. This is where I wanna mention the insert area. The insert area of your report, as I have open right here, has so many hidden features. Whether it's themes, bringing in visualizations, bringing in AI leveraged visualizations, you name it, there's tons of great things here. But I'm gonna start out slow, and I'm gonna bring in this GIF as is. So I'm gonna go over to insert image here, and what I'm gonna do is look in my downloads for this item. So I'm gonna go to downloads here, and boom, right there, right at the front here, I've got my download, it says nerd alert, it's a GIF file, it's ready to go, and I'm gonna select this and open it up. What I'm gonna hope here, across my fingers, as I do this, is I'm gonna see it start playing for me and be in that nice continuous loop. And, oh no, what's going on here, right? It's just not quite playing the way I want it to. So, instead of bringing it in as this area, the static piece right here, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to insert, I'm gonna bring it over to this shape or a button and I'm gonna choose a button. I'm gonna go with the blank button here and I'm gonna instead fill this button with the item. So I'm gonna go in and find my build options over here. I've got my ellipses here. You have some options there but you really after some of the formatting over on the right hand side. So I'll go over to formatting and I'm gonna give this a bit of a button style. Under button style, I'm gonna have this fill option. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill it in, hit the drop down, and then I'm gonna browse for whatever I wanna bring in, whether that's an image, a GIF, anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse and find my Nerd Alert GIF. I'll bring that in, open it up, and oh, we're in the money. Look at that, I've got Austin Powers in the background here. I've got a giant button, Nerd Alert, it's playing, it's awesome. Am I really always going to be bringing in an Austin Power gift to a report? No. <laughs> More than likely, I might have a GIF format for my company logo. Maybe my company logo rotates. Or maybe I have some other image that I wanna bring in, I can do that. If I bring it in as an insert, it's gonna act here as that static image, but when I bring it into a button, now I could use it as a button. This button, if I wanna edit this, I could make sure that it's maybe a rectangle, trapezoid, I mean, whatever I wanna go in and add in, a heart, you name it, and you also, during this fill area, can image fit this. Image fit is great because you don't know what the size is gonna be. I could come in here and say, I want it to fit inside the heart. Just like that, it fits in there properly, and I can have this heart actually be a button over in the corner here. I'm gonna get rid of that static image here. I don't really need anything like that. It's kind of boring, so you know what? We're gonna remove that, and we're gonna just keep our button, and it acts like any button. It's simply filled with a GIF file. I can give it an action. I can say that it's a back navigation, it's a drill through, it's a bookmark, it's a website. I have all of that flexibility right here in that GIF. We're not done yet. I showed you how to bring in that single GIF that Austin powers into a button. 
But what if I wanted the entire background of my report to be some sort of scrolling video? How do I add a custom background here? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. Hey, while you're here, make sure you check out our on-demand learning, the data storytelling class. This is where you can learn tips like this and a whole, whole much more. Make sure you click the link here and it'll link you right over to that class. This is where I learned a lot of these features. Okay, so I'm back to that background. How do I add in that background? What I'm gonna do here is navigate with nothing selected. I'm watching you. Make sure you don't have anything selected here. To make sure you don't have anything selected, click the blank background of your report. That means I don't have any anchor points around and I'm ready to go. So with nothing selected, no anchor points, I'm gonna look over here in page information, canvas settings, canvas background. This is all a part of that format area. What I'm after here is I'm gonna go to this canvas background here and I'm gonna insert that GIF image right here. So let's do it. Insert, add file. I'm gonna find my blah, 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 scroll, open it up, and nothing. Ugh, why is this keep happening, right? There is gonna be some roadblocks, but here's what I wanna help you with. All you need to do, and this is where people get stuck, is make the transparency from 100 to zero. Now we have this awesome scrolling background. If we wanna make it fit, we can hit fit, and oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there, but if I wanted to, I could. I could have it fill. I get to control the destiny of my reports and I can make them solely interactive. So whether it's a button that's actually a video <laughs> or a scrollable background, GIFs are a great way to integrate a little bit more activity into those Power BI reports. This has been Greg Treziak. I hope your reports get better. Hey, you know what? Let me know how you use GIFs in Power BI. And if you don't, let me know some of your favorite GIFs. I wanna see them. Comment down below and let me see it.